This honestly sort of feels like we're coming to the end of an era. This is now the fourth video I'm doing on Descendants, so if I've missed songs, I don't know if there'd even be enough for a fifth part. Although if there are enough, I guess let me know and we don't have to put an end to this era. We can continue doing Descendants for the rest of my life. I'll just keep watching the same music videos over and over, forever. On repeat. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear uncensored there if that's your thing. The link is in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join too. The first song is called One Kiss. The name is just making me want a Dua Lipa and Descendants collab. <laughs> is he like passed out? Wait. Okay, I, I, I got in before she even sang one word. You know what I didn't really anticipate seemingly being a plot point of Descendants? Sewing, tailoring, creating clothes. Look, there's even design. Oh, they, they're probably gonna make their like villain outfits, right? Oh man. Ah, uh, stop. I already love the flow of this guy. Ugh. It always feels like I'm getting such a treat when I hear singers do this kind of faster flow, especially when they mix in some of those, like, uh, not husky, but like kind of deeper, throatier sounds, and do it in such a great melodic way where it's kind of like this mix between rap and singing. <laughs> Her voice cracks a cool too. Okay. I love her vibe. I love her. I, everything's good. I'm not, I don't really feel like I've had this character showcased all that much. Maybe she has, maybe I'm just going crazy. I feel like maybe I've just been so distracted by Dove Cameron this entire show that I just like haven't really paid attention to anyone else. But damn if I don't love the texture to her voice. Oh, they're joining in too. They want them to hook up. <laughs> oh my God, why is it so playful too? Oh, oh, is it like true love's kiss or oh, she just likes him? Oh my God. It's so upbeat too. Like, I don't know if you've just seen me kind of doing this the whole video so far. <laughs> it's funny because in my everyday life when I just passively listen to music, I don't really move all that much. I'm not dancing, but put me on camera and make me like listen intently and analyze things. And I'm suddenly like jellyfishing all over the place. Ooh, don't like this movement. <laughs> Is he a villain too? The extra vocal layers that are her and not the other two are nice too. I would love them to like come in big in the chorus. That like saxophone or whatever it is, it's like <laughs> it really helps add to that playful sound and I guess almost give it this like Positivity, I don't know how to explain it. Why is this kind of like Megan Trainor vibes? Okay, I love her voice too, oh my God. Have I heard a solo from her yet? Oh, it, she could do a great rundown. Oh, oh we break down, okay. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, well, I'm glad that she picked him up because when she kicked him and spread his legs like that, I was like, where are we going here? And am I gonna be comfortable with the destination? Why is he just wearing like shorts and a jacket? It's so casual. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's like a true love's kiss thing. Is he sleeping beauty? <laughs> Oh my God, those notes. Ah oh man, okay. As if I thought it was gonna be any different, we started this video with such a solid banger. It's remarkable to me how it seems Descendants just has not missed once in the entire time I've been watching these videos. And as I've kind of kept saying, I feel like it should have missed, you know? Not in that I expect them to be bad movies or anything like that, but you know, they're live action Disney movies that has a bit of a reputation. And I just feel like I would have expected at least one bad or just mid song, but everything has been so 
good. Before we listen to the next song, I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Private Internet Access. I was actually really excited when they reached out to work with me because I've been using their VPN for like years. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. It hides your IP and guards your internet connection. No matter what device you use to connect to the internet, you're gonna be transmitting huge amounts of information and Private Internet Access helps by protecting that information. And with a PIA subscription, you can protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. One of the most common and best uses of a VPN is to unblock geo-restricted content. I don't know if you know, but streaming services block what content you can watch depending on where you are in the world. Essentially, imagine that you were enticed into an all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet after you saw advertisements of fluffy pancakes, amazing French toast, and perfectly cooked eggs. But after you pay your entry fee, you get there and there's a security guard standing there like, no, all you can eat is bowl after bowl of raisin bran and nothing else because you are from Australia. Before it was finally put on a streaming service here in Australia, I actually used PIA to watch Breaking Bad on Netflix in the US. That's just my cheeky little recommendation for you. My personal favorite feature with PIA is that it has a web browser plugin. It makes it so easy for me to just click a button and have my VPN on. If you click my link in the description, you can get 83% off private internet access. It works out to just $2 and like three cents per month. You also get four months free. I know when it comes to YouTube sponsorships, it can be really hard to tell who genuinely believes in the product, so I'm gonna be super transparent. Here's the receipts. Literally, you can see I've been paying for private internet access since 2017. So again, make sure to use my link in the description to get a huge discount and begin your own VPN journey. All right, so let's get back to Descendants. The next song is called Set It Off. Let's get this party started. <laughs> why is, I was gonna say, why is the dog there? But like, I, I, I have seen the dog before. I still don't know why, I mean, not that it doesn't need like a written permission slip from me to exist, you know, it, it can just be. <laughs> it's a dog, it's allowed. Hey! What is the sound of this? Oh, the mix is so strange already. That's so high to start. So, this has been so far the most confusing 30 seconds of any Descendants song. I had no idea what direction that was gonna take me, who, I didn't even know who was gonna sing, and how. His rhythm and pace when he came in though, mm -mm, love that, mm, chef's kiss. I was a little too intense with that, I apologize that you had to hear that. But also, I feel like I've been teased with this like EDM, like Skrillex-esque vibe. Can I, can I have that please? Can Martin Garrix work with Descendants, please? This is us taking back the night. This is strange. I think it's throwing me because of all the background noise. The build could be so good. Okay, okay, you, you've hooked me, hit me. Okay. Bit more low key than I thought the chorus was gonna be. I think that also surprised me because I wasn't really expecting all of them to sing in that chorus. I thought it was gonna be carried by one, maybe two people, but they've gone for this big combined vocal sound and it works. But I also feel like maybe I would have loved to just hear someone come over the top of that to give it an extra bit of, you know, oomph and power. Although starting it this way also just leaves you room to do that later anyway. <laughs> How do they all know this choreography? I don't know if people like him or he's a fan favorite, but like this outfit just gives me like <laughs> edgelord trying to be a bad boy vibes. Is it just me? Like, yeah, you know, in his spare time, he's like, he's chilling on 4chan, you know? We stay away from him. <laughs> what exactly are they setting off? Because they're saying, feeling the power, let it all out. And before that guy was like, people judging me because of my background, and I'm guessing they mean background because they're villains. And I feel like throughout my whole experience of listening to these songs, I've never been able to work out whether they are actually evil or if they're just like born into this legacy and everyone assumes they are, but they're actually like, okay. But some songs have been like, yeah, I wanna be evil. Being evil sounds amazing, let's do it. I'm gonna like kill the world. So when I see a whole bunch of villains, some of which have explicitly said that they wanna be evil, and do bad things, sing about setting it off. Get a little bit concerned. Uh, 
Where's the bomb? How do I defuse it? Well, if they blow something up and destroy the world, at least I'll be dancing. <laughs> the energy is so strange here. Are we going into a bridge? I'm so curious what that'll sound. Maybe I guess they could just do like the, the breakdown of the instrumental. Oh, wow, okay. I thought that maybe, wow, that's, sorry for all the sentence fragments. I thought that they were like in love. Maybe, maybe not at this point. I don't know when this is, I guess because of the sound of it, I kind of expected it to be towards the end, but who knows if that, well, people who watch the movie would know if they're together. <laughs> what? What? When I said breakdown, I didn't expect this. Well, that was weird. Oh, cool. Hearing his voice cut through is good. Hers cut through too, but when they moved the camera away from them, their voices just kind of melded back into the background. That was a cool effect. I've to, I just, I'm going to keep bouncing. I'm sorry. So they are a thing. Maybe she was just like being playful. So could someone please tell me if I need to be concerned? I hope not. It'd be good if I could just sit here and be like, oh, don't worry, they're so lovely and you don't need to worry about anything. But like I said, the jury's still out for me as to whether they are indeed villains or just in unfortunate circumstances. The next song. <laughs> I just realized how wonderful the timing is of what I said because, hey, you want to know what the next song is called? Good to be bad. So they... They do like being evil. Which wire do I cut for the bomb? Red or blue? <laughs> Why did I do that? Attention, Isle of the Lost. BK oh my god, dead. okay. You got my attention if you yell in my ear. My Wait. <laughs> An application to go to a school for being bad? And they said, pick me Mel Maleficent? From the north to the south, from the east to the west. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, the way they just do them flips, what the heck? Excuse me, was that just a sample of Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe? They also used it in Finesse by like Bruno and Cardi B? So far, this song has just about everything I'd want from it and it's still got three minutes to deliver with a whole lot more. Like oh my god, Anybody okay. Like what? Oh, so they're not applying for the school. They're like upholding the system? Oh my God, I love her voice. Oh, that's the deep sound, so good. Oh my God. Weird, weird, weird sounds of the chorus that I am so here for. I genuinely thought they were gonna go big with like a solo vocal, but having it like this and kind of coming in weirdly with the beat and rhythm, mmm, that's interesting. Some strange effects too. Am I crazy? Or is this kind of given like Bodak Yellow by Cardi B, funnily enough? They're like, I make money move. That sounds... <laughs> the like instrumental with the heavy ass kicks are so cool. I love the choreo too, oh my god. And it's cool because the way they've composed it to have that extended instrumental means that when they come back with vocals and singing, I'm like, I'm on the edge of my seat and ready. Give me, give me the voice. <laughs> it low key feels like they're spreading propaganda, but also uh, the flair they have while doing so feels unmatched. So at least there's that, you know, if you're gonna spread propaganda, be stylish while you do so? Oh, um, okay. I'm so in. I love this chorus. Oh my god. Why does everyone have such good flow? <laughs> they are so playful with the way they make the music work with the vocals. 
VK all day. What is the VK? Villain. Villain. What could, what could the K possibly be? I'm kind of tempted to Google what the K means, but also like not knowing gives such a strange perspective. Why does this kind of give like K-pop? I don't know. I just suddenly realized. Wait, wave your V's up high. Okay, I, 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 that just completely threw me. I mean, I thought V's were villains, but like, wave your, wave your villains up high. Wave yourself up high. Do I like rip myself off, hold it up in the air, and flail me around? <laughs> What's a VK? Oh, villain kids. Okay. Well, that clears up a lot and makes a lot of sense. However, it doesn't clear up how I'm meant to wave my villain around. <laughs> I love that, like, extra beat there. I don't really know what else I can say that I haven't already said. I'm just gonna sit here again being like, okay, so just a sentence is gonna constantly deliver. I don't know. It, it is, though. And I want to be clear, I'm not complaining when I say that. I honestly have such a good time filming these videos. It's just, I feel like I'm starting to lose my objectivity, you know? I'm not sitting here being like, oh, here's what they could do better, and here's what I dislike, and here's my review. I'm just like, yes! Give, give me more! Give me all the descendants, every song that you have, please, in my pocket. That's my hands, not my pocket, but I will take them and put them in my pocket for later. <laughs> no, not later, now. The next song <laughs> is called Break This Down. It's time to break oh yes, down. give me like a ballad, Dove. Oh, they're at the same place where they ended the last song. Yes, okay. Oh my god, her voice is so good. I knew already that I absolutely adored her voice. It's so good. Ugh. But just hearing it again and singing with someone who compliments them so well is so nice. Oh, okay, harmonies. Are they all gonna sing the chorus? Oh my god! There are so many layers and even the underlying like ooze are giving such a lovely soft tone to all of this. It all feels so open and airy. Oh my god! This kind of feels old school, but they are slaying. Oh, hey, it's eyeliner boy. I should have done my eyeliner for this video. I've been doing it for the last few videos. I should have just popped it all on. It's just kind of inconvenient because if I wanted to do my eyeliner like him for a video, I just have to use the entire pencil. And if I did that every time I did a Descendants video, oh my God, I'd just be spending so much. Marching on in a new land. Okay, God damn. Everyone's harmonizing and running so well. His voice is so great. Well, the way it cut through is nice. Wait, where are they? They're just on the bridge? Where's that going? And they're crossing. They're both crossing in different directions? They're just on the, in the ocean. There's not even railings. I'd be terrified of falling. Like, am I wrong in thinking this? Like, yeah, you know, obviously you, you trust the people you're with, but they're all villains. What if you just walk in and one just decides to push you off? How, how the hell are you gonna get back up? You know, I guess you could maybe try climbing up these beams, but god damn. I don't know if I would want to be walking across there. <laughs> I love when songs do this, like they say bringing it down while they're bringing it down. Although, now they're bringing it back up. Why does this like feel like a dance war? Oh, or is this like, oh. It's like the villain side and the like non-villain side and they've bridged the gap. Oh my God, everyone's just flipping. I feel like everyone in the world can just do like triple front and back flips and I, I feel like I'm the only one that can't. Maybe I'll learn. Okay, slay. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what to say. It just kind of hit some happy little bit of my brain to see everyone dance like this. Is it just me that kind of finds the energy contagious? I, I just want to jump in and participate, you know? I would, I would throw off the entire choreograph, but you know, I'd be having fun. And that's what matters, right? I just realized break this down is break the walls between us. So now everyone's gonna like live together in one big happy civilization. My, my princely man got so into that dance for a sec. So that was from the third Descendants movie, and I feel like it might be an accurate thing to say, but I'm starting to think that as the movies went along, they started to make all the choreography a bit more intricate. That felt like it was a much bigger scale than some of the other songs I've seen. I mean, it makes sense, like as the actors develop their skills and they probably got like a bigger budget, they're able to do like larger, more intense things. Regardless, I'm happy because it means that I get that as a treat. The last song we're gonna listen to today is probably the most requested one. I just kept seeing the word pop up in my comment section over and over and people have been offended that I've missed it so far so we're writing that wrong it's called did I mention Give me a <laughs> <laughs> the difference in his vibe in the first movie oh my gosh where, where to get this microphone from <laughs> okay is it uh, just me that's getting 10 things I hate about you from this? <laughs> I mean, even here, he is kind of charming. And I, like, is... I don't even know his name. Is he Prince Charming? <laughs> oh, if I ever accidentally made a pun. <laughs> is he singing about her? Bro. I mean, it makes for a really fun music video, but if I saw this in person, I might cringe a little bit. I mean, okay. I feel like I'd be one over and I'd be sitting there like, oh my gosh, like what a fun thing you're doing. What a declaration of love. But if I was the person who he was declaring his love to, I'd be like, um, can you not? How did, how do they know the lyrics? <laughs> they keep going for this like retro sound. Like this feels like something from the seventies or eighties or something. <laughs> Why does his stare make me a little bit uncomfortable there? I keep flip-flopping between being uncomfortable and also like, okay, you're being kind of cute though. <laughs> How is she gonna respond? Well, she seems impressed. <laughs> oh, you're so weird. But I love it. Why'd you... Bother taking that off. And what are you wearing underneath? Oh, okay, okay, she, she's been won over. It was really receiving the gift of the sweat-soaked gross sports jersey that won her over. She was like, mm, I don't really know how I feel about you, whether I'm into you and what I think about this song, but, oh, stank ass shirt. Yeah, I'm in love. Wait, is his name? Wait, is his name just Ben? It's li it literally, it just says Ben. Ben seven? You're three numbers off, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so stupid. That, that horse is just two people. This is the weirdest thing so far in Descendants. How do you get all the way over there? Oh my god, he's, he's coming to her. Is he ex Okay, I was like, oh, is he expecting a kiss? I'll get to, I'll get to find out. Nope. That's fine. You deprive me of a conclusion. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she doesn't kiss him there. But, I mean, she does later. So, I guess his plan of the song worked? I mean, she was very happy when she got that swamp ass shirt so that's my advice to everyone you know that's what i'm going to end this video with if you're serenading someone and you're not sure if they're into it you're like oh i don't know this could go either way um just take your sweaty t-shirt off and throw it at them 
I'm not even saying that that's how you'll find out if they like you. I'm saying then they will like you. <laughs> so after all that, yep, still Descendants hasn't missed like that song and the whole music video was weird, but still like kind of a vibe. I didn't mind it, but damn if we didn't get some bangers in this video. And you know what? In all of the Descendants videos I've done, it's been wonderful. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time. Also, don't forget to check out PIA using my link in the description, okay? Okay, now bye.